In a 10-day march that started on April 11, thousands of Americans came to Washington, D.C. from all over the country to fight for one thing, our democracy. In peaceful protests right outside this building, Capitol Police arrested more than 1,300 of them as they called on this body to make basic changes to reinforce the institution that makes the United States of America so special. The reason they marched is simple, Mr. Speaker. In a nation founded on the will of the people, states have systematically disempowered those same people. And it's the will of well-funded special interests that now run our elections. We found ourselves in this predicament primarily through inaction, the same kind of inaction poised to give the Supreme Court the longest vacancy in nearly 100 years. Those folks came to the Capitol to ask our leaders to do something, and their requests are pretty simple. For starters, they want to see the restoration of the Civil Rights Act to prevent vote voter discrimination in the 21st century. Because voting discrimination does still exist, something Chief Justice Roberts acknowledged even as he struck down parts of the original Voting Rights Act. It's targeted against voters of color, those with language barriers, and those with disabilities. And Congress should be doing something about it. That's not the only call they came out, that came out of last week's rallies, though. They also want updates to our election day procedures, updates that are sorely needed. In a world as technologically advanced as ours, where you can pay for your lunch with your phone and use a fingerprint to unlock your computer, we've got hours long wait uh, times at some voting polls. We've got provisional ballots and ineffective, if not outright confusing, notification systems for how, when, and where to register to vote. And it's another issue Congress should be doing something about. But perhaps the most important issue that these rallies brought to the table is the need to make sure that the voices of real people, and not those of corporations or special interests, are what is heard in our elections. For that, we need to create a path back from you, Citizens United that allows us to regulate how money is raised and spent in elections. Because of that ruling, we need a constitutional amendment that makes clear what common sense already dictates. Corporations are not people and shouldn't get a say in who governs our nation. That's really what's really interesting here is that the work's already been done. The call of these protesters wasn't for Congress to investigate or draft or identify solutions to these problems. The solutions already exist. They asked that we pass a few pieces of legislation that will put our democracy back where it belongs, with the people. So, Mr. Speaker, I stand in solidarity with the individuals who came to Washington last week for Democracy Spring. I stand in strong support of reforms to how we run elections and how we ensure the right to vote. I urge my colleagues to follow suit in saving our democracy. And with that